superstar. Favor ain't always fair. Real estate, insurance, producer, but family always comes first. Four walls can't hold me. I think outside of the box, mentally, spiritually, and financially. And our bowls. Ollie, my talented musician. Will, a project engineer. And Kevin, our Jimmy Swag on the Bayou. For those of you who know me, know I love to entertain. We love to throw parties. We love to celebrate our accomplishments. We love to celebrate uh, anniversaries and Jesus' birthday and the day Jesus rose. So that's the reason why we have a lot of parties. And my girlfriend, Tatiana, she loves to throw parties. Uh, Keevan, he loves to throw parties. He's gonna have his uh, birthday party. He's gonna lie and tell you he's 26, but he's actually 40. Just giving you a heads up on that. So at the end of the day, we love to have parties, so party on. I was a little bit worried because we were just a little bit late for getting Brittany to her graduation. She always has a sleep. No, what's her name this time? I'm finally official. I was just so nervous on stage, I didn't want to call. So excited, my baby finally walked the stage and she is now LSU alumni and we are excited. Star is always me. I don't care if we're going to church, I don't care if we're going to an event, I don't care if we're coming to her house. She's late getting to her house for us to come to her house. So it's like, Star, where are you? I'm on the interstate, I'm just five minutes away. That means that she's five minutes away from her house, not getting to our house. So what time do you want me to come? I'm gonna come early and help you put everything together. Okay, that's So, and Mrs. Pump made it to our graduation party two hours late. Payback. It didn't take her no two hours to put on them daisy boots. Was that a compliment or shame? Did she say something about my shorts? Those who can will. And I am. Thank you. She's gonna say something about being late. What? She's gonna say something about being late. You're all late. Wait, don't let them in. Not you, baby. Come here. Come here, baby. Not you. Y'all, two hours late. Bye. Hey, sweetie. How you doing? I'm gonna let me get tag. church or a presentation will start is at a minimum, a minimum four hours late. Minimum. She gets to church the daily benediction. Star, you want to get saved? Late. Hey. 
Congratulations and kudos to you, baby. Looking to invest or sell your property? Or just imagine buying the home of your dreams? Wait no longer. Let's make your dream your reality. Call Star, your personal real estate broker, 225-229-9035. That number again is 225-229-9035. Cousin, you know, I'm telling them, I'm telling all my people to meet me at the party, and all of my people, we all late. You know, how, you know, how, you know how we are. You know, we we get there, we get there when we get there, and we just hoping everything work out right. You know, uh, it just, you know, a few few technical difficulties, but we walk through that Boston like we always do. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't, I can't, look, look. 
Because that was just not right. He must know that that's not right. But you know, you ashes, you gotta smoke. Smoke for ashes. I hope the Catholics ain't nowhere around the building. They just know that. just disrespected their religion. I did? I'm sorry. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. That's what you're supposed to do. Is happy, yeah, happy birthday, happy, my brother. I just smoke. Happy birthday. birthday. Maybe I need to do some research. <laughs> I'm going to Google it when I get home. I'm going to get this one to drink. Matter of fact, don't give me one. Don't give me none to drink. I need two drinks. Yeah, I need two. We out here. You know oh, what I'm saying? Yeah. We get full out here. You know what I'm saying? Head back out. Don't worry, though. I don't, I, don't, I don't break the law. You know what I'm saying? I don't drink and drive. I drive, good, I good. drive and drink. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's a, you know what I'm saying? I already had an encounter with MILFs against drunk driving. And I ain't trying to get old through that again. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I, I blew into the little machine. And the thing turned green, and I'm out chill. You know what I'm saying? You know, I ain't trying to break no laws or nothing. Like I said, me and the police, we on one accord now. I, I, I ain't trying to violate no rules or regulations, whatever y'all got situated and everything. You know, I just, I, I, I just, I just follow the law. I'm a law-abiding citizen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's a difference. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, I don't break the law. I had to jump in my truck. And all the tags wasn't all the way right. You know what I mean? You know, and I, 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 I meant to go update them and everything, but, you know, it, I don't know, the devil ain't sh You know, we got we got all of the tags. We got, I, I was just scared the devil from the police. Keevan, all he do is lie. Lie, lie, lie. Drake and lie. Lie and Drake. He's going to lie at his funeral and say, I ain't dead. Anybody can do that dance. My, my dog could do that dance. Any dog could do that dance. However you want to take that. Is that Keevan over there talking to a female? Everybody know Keevan had been drinking too much. So what we're gonna do is this, it's gotta be some kind of marriage boot camp and I'm a counselor, I'm a counselor, so maybe I'll take myself out of facilitating, but be a part of, because all of us need a little marriage boot camp counseling going on. Retreat, plus treatment, and extended therapy. But anyway, that whole dancing with the young lady thing, how do you not know that that's not appropriate if anybody should tell your wife that you're dancing with somebody at your party? And the fact that he doesn't know that off 
the top, like that's just understood. Yeah, there's some therapy needed. Yeah, you know, my birthday party was going pretty good. My artist came through with my new record label, Purple Lagoon. It's coming to a theaters near you. It's going to be, you know, music and film, horror movies and everything, you know. And, you know, she came and gave me a birthday dance and everything. It was all innocent and everything. Everybody blew it all out of proportion, you know what I'm saying? I don't know how they was looking at it or whatever, but, you know, like, you know, it, 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 it just was a little dance. You know, anything else is preposterous. You know, anything else is absurd. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it was it was nothing more than just that. You know what I'm saying? You know y'all y'all gonna sit there have my old lady all mad at the house and stuff. You know and, and trust me, it wasn't nothing more than just a dance. We just chilling and drinking and having a nice time. When y'all see my R&B album come out of the stores, you know what I'm saying? With my new hit single called "I Can't Spend the Night." Y'all gonna understand something. You know what I'm saying? We going down. We thugging it. We loving it. And we out chill. Um. I mean, Keevan has a girl at a party and he's like dancing and we're like totally shocked because he's like a married man and I'm the only one who is like, you know, this shiggity is not cool at all and I done brought him into my circle and we just don't do stuff like that. So I'm going to have a talk with him because everybody else is scared to have a talk with him, but I'm not scared to have a talk with him. I'm going to let him know, boo, boo, we don't do this right here because this is not even cool. This don't even look good. This is what you do at the nightclub. You stay your ass at home. As simple as two plus two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Don't be bringing them all up in, all up in here, all up in my space, all up in our space because we don't do that in our circle. My husband knows that that's not right. Me, myself, I don't have a problem with it. I don't think he was out of line. Uh, when they were dancing, were they a little bit close? Yeah, but for the most part, he didn't do anything that I saw, you know what I'm saying, that I, I witnessed with my own two eyes, him getting out of hand, being touchy, touchy, feely, feely or whatever. I didn't see that. Now, is that what they're saying he did? Yeah, but I didn't see it, so I can't speak on that. As far as I'm concerned, Keevan always going to be him. He's going to be the life of the party, and he's going to entertain everybody that's there. So I personally don't have a problem with it. Oh, wow, boy. Keevan mesmerized the out of me. That had the size of elephant. You know what? But anyway, man, I wish I can get away with some like that. Good luck, brother. My girl, Tatiana, took keys and keys because he had been drinking too much. How in the hell did he get them keys back? Everybody in the party know he had been drinking. <laughs> Y'all be good. I'm out you. You come from the city with no bail, or three will set you free. Who can I will set you free. Who can I will set you free. Thanks for tuning in, folks. And don't forget to go follow us on Facebook or Instagram. And if you missed the show, don't worry. You can go to YouTube. And guess what? Get excited. Coming soon. Second season. Looking to invest or sell your property? Or just imagine buying the home of your dreams? Wait no longer. Let's make your dream your reality. Call Star, your personal real estate broker, 225-229-9035. That number again is 225-229-9035. I ain't how they, they thought I had a wreck outside. Oh, no, that wasn't me. Like I said, I don't drink and drive. I drive and drink. We thought Keevan had a wreck, but I'm glad he's okay. Okay, so.
So this party, you have two kids, and my kids had not had a party in five years. So the baby had had one, well, since she was one, and, and Caleb had not had one since he was maybe two. So we put them together because everybody's birthday of the three are three weeks apart. So London and Caleb had a party together. We had the Princess Party Parade for her in the front, and everybody supported that. And the Fear Factor Party in the back for Caleb after we did the party parade. Uh, so that one was really cool. A lot to put together. So I'm thinking little kids are going to be afraid of worms and creepy crawlies and all that kind of stuff. And, and they were, some of them. But these kids these days, they eat and touch everything I see. But that was the whole concept of that party. So it was fun to do that. A lot of work, but it was fun. <laughs> that well that's what I'm gonna get next time a party planner just to instruct the games they do not follow directions you have to say things over and over and over again so that on topping on top of doing everything and and coordinating the party and cooking and getting everything together party planner next time and I'm just gonna pay her him them whatever and just I'm gonna do the directing yeah that was a lot of work but it's for the baby so Ready? One, two, three. And no, 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 So she called me like uh, maybe like 37 times, and so I called Star about 17 times to ask her if it was okay if she was singing at the birthday party. So we did the video recordings, we did the um, not the voice, the voice recordings. She sent me so many voice recordings of her. I said, "Well, send me another one. We'll sing it this way. We'll sing it in this rendition." So she did that, and I sent it to Star, and she never said anything. So you know, I thought it was okay. But when she got to the party, it was like you know we had worked up all this hype, and it was. Happy birthday rendition. I sure did. My kids are 10 and 5. So the whole little happy birthday. 
something. I don't know. I don't know how that was well received. But for the 27 phone calls plus the 17 phone calls to start, we just expected a little more, you know, a little more fantasious or something or, you know, a little more hype. But maybe she was nervous. We'll say that. We'll say she was nervous. Right. <laughs> so during the kids' birthday party, you know, I, I had kidney stones. You know, if anybody had a kidney stone, you know that that's just like a man giving birth to a baby. So my stones was moving while everybody else was out there having a good time. I'm laid up in the bed. However, I did suck it up, man up, walk out there with my birth going on and participate in the party. Now, did I spend, was I the life of the party? Was I rah, 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 happy, happy, go, go, lucky, lucky, lucky? No. But I did give what I could. My husband stayed in room in the room. Half the party had kidney stones, so I should suspect that he was maybe hurting a little bit. You know, with kidney stones, that that probably hurts. But but if you go to work with kidney stones, you get up out the bed and come help me with this party with kidney stones. I'm just saying. Maybe I'm thinking a different way. Men are not as strong as women are emotionally, spiritually, physically. I don't know. But I did most of this party by myself. I know y'all agree. Will should have paid for that party. Yeah, we got a household account, not a joint account. So she has hers, I have mine, and then we have us. So that was a part of her uh, her uh, college tuition fund that she spent on that party. Talking about they have two different accounts. Yeah, two different accounts. Uh, uh. But he did come out at the end, and he helped at the end. So thank you, hubby. I did most of the work. <laughs> I was just so surprised how everybody else was so surprised that my husbands, my ex-husband and my current husband, were getting along. That's what we're supposed to do. I'm happy about that. So maybe we can teach other people what it's really supposed to be about, and that's the children, blending the family and doing what God has called us to do. Well, Keaton didn't show up to the birthday party, but I understand that his son's birthday was kind of around the same time, so I understand that. But I still was looking for him because we showed up to his birthday party last night, and when you go to people's parties, you go to support and you expect them to support too. So we showed up at his, but he didn't show up at our little party. You may know why he didn't show up at our. I'm going to tell him, say, listen, that didn't look good. You can't go to nightclub dancing with women when you're married. I mean, just a no no. Boy, all of that's true. It's okay. Good, that's and I don't care if it was your birthday and she asked. I don't really care. I don't care. I don't think she asked. It doesn't matter. <laughs> It doesn't matter. It's to stay from the appearance of evil. So you, it may have been nothing wrong. It may have been um, innocent until you did this on her. But you just cannot do that because you're married.